through Jesus, you have extended grace to us. By grace, we have been saved. Day by day, help us to comprehend your grace more and more in our life. Give us an increase of grace this day so that we can respond to your love by our good deed. In Jesus' name, Amen. Good morning. Happy New Day. Happy Thursday, September 7, 2023. This is your fall, taking you open heaven, a guide to close fellowship with God. In our custom, let's say, Alleluia. 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 Alleluia is an every language. Alleluia song will never say so out in Jesus' name. Amen. The topic before this morning is the works of grace, part 2. The works of grace, part 2. Our memory fashion we find the book of Ezekiel, 36 verse 25. I read, Then we I sprinkle clean water upon you, and you shall be clean from all your filthiness and from all your idols. Will I cleanse you? Then will I sprinkle clean water upon you, and you shall be clean from all your filthiness and from all your idol. Will I cleanse you? We identify the first work of grace to be good call to man for salvation. Once a person heed unto the next work of grace salvation. First John first one to seven said, But if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another, and the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, gives us from all our sin. Salvation is the point at which God blot out all your sin of the past and give you a clean state to start with. Many people find it hard to believe that God can cleanse their sins completely. But that is the exact truth. It doesn't matter how badly you have sinned, Jesus can make you a new creature in Him. That is why the salvation experience is referred to be born again. The devil has no ground to accuse you of any past sin. When you become saved, the first thing you will notice is that you will experience priests like a river. This is because sin is a weight on your health. Matthew 11, 28 verse 30 says, After Jesus drew you and you come to him, if he decided to take his yoke on yourself, he will take your bonding and then you will have rest. The body it takes from you is burden of sin. Once that body is lifted, your soul would be at peace. This peace is difficult to describe, but when you experience it, you will know if you have never experienced it before. Then you need Jesus to save you and cleanse you from all sins. If you don't have that peace anymore, you need to run back to your salvation and rededicate your life to Him. The second thing that marks the salvation experience is joy, the joy of the Lord. It will be impossible to hide this type of joy. The Monday after I gave my life to Christ, when I got to work, my head of department could practically see that I was radiating with joy. He asked if I have attended a party during the weekend. I told him, I had not attended any party, but I got the invitation to a wedding where I am the bride and Jesus is the groom. Once your sins are cleansed, your soul begins to rejoice. Anyone who backslide always notice that the joy they used to feel is gone. That is why David said in Psalm 51 verse 12 that God should restore unto him the joy of his salvation. Brethren, 
I want us to read the book of Isaiah 1 verse 18 and our Bible in one year, Ezekiel 41 verse 43. Our aim is in two, amazing grace, amazing grace. Our prayer point for today, Father, please wash me, cleanse with your blood. Father, please wash me, clean with your blood. And I pray, ever will be your goal. Father, I will cleanse you and watch you in Jesus' name. Amen. Brethren, this is Love World. Till I come your way tomorrow, don't forget, subscribe to the channel, click on the like button, share with your friends and family, and goodness of God will never live your life. Have a nice day and bye for now. God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.